Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have yet to release content for their partnership with Netflix, and their proposed projects don't exactly sound like they will be setting viewers or Hollywood on fire according to a royal expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex amazed royal fans when they managed to secure a deal with streaming giant Netflix just months after their dramatic exit from the monarchy. A contract of historic value, it is estimated to be worth around $100 million, £72 million, even though the couple have little experience as producers. Their deal was seen as the couple's first major move into financial independence, although Harry told Oprah Winfrey that they only looked into streaming platforms after his family literally cut me off financially. Since stepping away from the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed a number of lucrative contracts with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. Their Netflix deal was announced in September of 2020, however royal expert Danielle Alzer, writing in the New Zealand Herald claims that more than 14 months on, the couple have yet to deliver content. She wrote, more than 14 months ago, in September 2020, when their money-making marriage with the streaming was first revealed, they loftily promised they would be making content that informs but also gives hope. Good oh then, but where is it? For their partnership with Netflix, Harry and Meghan have announced two projects, Pearl, a children's animation, and a documentary about the Invictus Games, the charity sporting event for veterans previously founded by Harry. However, Ms. Elzer claims that while the content could be touching and powerful, it might not make an impact with audiences. She wrote, these might both prove to be touching and powerful shows but on paper they don't exactly sound like they will be setting viewers or Hollywood on fire. She does point out, however, that the delay could be because high-quality TV and documentaries can be time-consuming to create, and it's a situation made that much more difficult by the pandemic. Representatives for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been contacted for comment. The contract allowed the pair to pay for their extensive security costs and to pay back the £2.4 million they owed the taxpayer for their Frogmore Cottage renovations dating back to 2019. PR expert Mark Borkowski said, It's a fantastic deal for Netflix and a phenomenal deal for the ex-royal couple. If they get it right, if they surround themselves with the very best people. It could be the mother load for them. However, he conceded that it was going to be challenging for them, because producing content is very difficult. Speaking to Canadian outlet CBC, he said, Disney will tell you, you're not making that overnight. There's a long journey and you need people with the necessary scar tissue to help you. Royal biographer Penny Joner also claimed, this Netflix deal could be the perfect vehicle for them, if it works as they intend. She continued, Harry and Meghan have always said they want to make the world a better place. That was one of the things that brought them together in the first place, and as working members of the royal family, they were ideally positioned to do that. She then asked how the kind of programming they intend to produce, which informs but also gives hope, will get the sort of viewing figures that Netflix will presumably want for this sort of money. Indeed, a YouGov poll conducted last September found just 9% of Brits said they were fairly interested in watching the couple's Netflix content, while only 3% they were very interested. However, the couple are known to have made Americans their new target audience since moving to California last year so the apathy from Britons is not necessarily a deal-breaker for the Sussexes and Netflix. But, Meghan and Harry have only announced one program with Netflix so far, Heart of Invictus, which will follow competitors as they prepare for next year's Invictus Games in The Hague. So far, their most successful appearances have actually been on other streaming platforms, such as Harry's mental health docuseries The Me You Can't See released on Apple TV+, and the couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey on CBS in March. The couple are therefore yet to establish a presence on Netflix 10 months after announcing their deal.